Hey guys, what's going on? It's Stallion. I'm on uh, camera right now. And check out my page and stuff like that. What I'm doing is, you know, checking out people's stories. You know, it's not just about me and stuff like that in life. It's also about other people. So, here's my boy Wally. He's going to tell us and stuff like that who he is, introduce himself. Go ahead. What's going on now? Yeah. Hey, shit. Born in Boston, Leffen. Basically raised in North Philly. Big family. You know. Kids, grandchildren, all that. Out here in Boston now. Been out here 10 years. Boston crazy. Get it in too. Do that. We're in fucking Dorchester right now. Right. So, what do you like about Boston? What do you like about the Bronx? What do you like about New York? What do you like about, you know, where you travel, where you live? But that's what she was, getting ice cream. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> 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 no, I like I like Boston at the beginning a little bit, you know, but uh, I think this is the, the people here are the most uh, meanest, most ill-mannered, rudest people I remember. I freaking like, even the cops are assholes. <laughs> yeah, there are bikes. I wish I was in a truck right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But otherwise, I think uh, I like the fact. See, in Philly, we, we can't, we have to go to Jersey to go swim. <laughs> Unless we go to Tycone Creek, you know, shit like that. Char no, that's not nice. Excuse me. But here, you can go anywhere to the beach. It's real nice. Oh. Yeah, yeah, the Riviera. That's a nice place. The Riviera, no, Riviera Beach. I like Riviera. Riviera Beach, you got to go to the beach and walk ham and all that. But um, the food sucks pretty much. <laughs> um, they don't make hoagies, no cheese steaks. Um, if you go anywhere in the world, where would you be? Where would I be? A fucking cave. A cave? Yeah. So you'd be a bit louder, like with us or something? You want to be like hiding out of the mountains? No, if I could be anywhere, it'll be Catasauqua, Pennsylvania. Why? I have fond memories when my kids were little. You know, we were little and uh, we always used to go to the, to the lake and to the river and shit. You know? And uh, it was just so peaceful. It was the first time in my life that I heard crickets. And I love that's one of my favorite sounds in the world. It's a relaxing tune, yeah, yeah. Relaxing sound. That's cool. But yeah, you know, I, I, lost, I lost a lot of family and shit. You were a street fighter or anything like that? Yeah, I did a lot of fighting and shit. My face cracked and all kinds of shit, stabbed and shot. I don't think about it much, but when I do talk about it, I kind of glorify it, which is really stupid, you know what I mean? What would you tell the youth out there and the kids? Huh? What would you tell the youth and the kids and out there, like, you know, number one thing or whatever to look out for in life, you know, they're young? Stay in school, <laughs> that's simple. Education is the most important thing, you said? You get education anywhere. But now, like, if you ever listen to NPR, they have a financial, like, financial section. They were saying in one segment that these days you can't retire with $200,000, $300,000. You need a minimum of $2 million to retire. For you to get that kind of paper and you're going to school, you need a bachelor's. You, you need as many degrees as possible. Because it's a high school diploma, it's not going to get it anymore. But, you tell me, you I mean, don't underestimate just the, the value of having a, a high school diploma. Because, you know, people who work at gas stations, people like us, and people like me who are laborers, we make the world go round, you know? Yeah. Because if it wasn't for us, things would not be getting built and things like that. You know, people like you, you know, you're young, you know, and uh, you got to go ahead on your shoulders. But I would say just be good to each other, man. You know, be nice. You know, be nice because you never know who's gonna die next. Yeah. It sucks when somebody dies and the last thing you were mean to them. You know? Yeah. A friend of mine passed away in, uh, I think it was 
phone in Bumba. December, I think it was in February. And this guy was, his name is Greg, good guy. Out of Wakefield, Mass. All the time, well, you got weed, you got weed, huh? I'm gonna leave, I got no weed. You know, like every five minutes, you know, oh, you got weed, you got weed. I'm like, no, I'm great. I like, like laughed. I was like, I felt bad for the guy. But my, my thing is, though, when he passed away, I was happy that I wasn't mean to him. Right. That, you know what I mean? Because I, I don't like living with that shit on my conscience. Too good, you get good. What about the gangs and all that stuff? They ain't cool. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of gangs out here. The kids or whatever nowadays trying to, you know, glorify it and think they're in a cool clique and stuff like that. I don't agree to that. Uh, baby, well. no, baby's like, uh, baby's got to be like five, six months old. And she's telling her to stop crying. That's true. Oh, yeah, that lady walking down the street. Oh, look, she's blowing a little one. <laughs> <laughs> a little girl's like, fuck that. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Like, these kids nowadays, like, have no kind but of, you know like, what, though, structure. You know what, though? I did a parental class in Pennsylvania, and I learned a lot, you know. And there ain't no such thing as a bad kid. It's just our environment, our communities, and poor parenting, you know. So you think it's mostly what our society is stuff like that for our generation oh it's the, the society everywhere nowadays you have you have you all this internet service all this activity or is kids, are, kids are learning kids are learning young well i learned as a as a young adult they're learning as young kids right. because of internet you know? mm -hmm. well, i'll tell you that that boston dolls they have the finest women out here <laughs> finest. Get me wrong, I woman's a woman, it's a good woman, a bad woman. There's no such thing as ugly or pretty or beautiful. There's all that shit is inside you, you know what I mean? Of course. There's no such thing. You know, you could have a you could have the most beautiful girl in the exterior wise, you know, a banging body and all that. She could just be downright mean, ugly, you know that. Oh, yeah. and you can meet someone who in the eyes of, of anyone else not desirable to their standards she might be she may be she might be everything you ever dreamed of That's real. Right. all right so wrapping up this interview or something like that, um, what was be on your bucket list before you go you know what i mean before oh yeah you... i wanna um i had a couple of things man i wanna um I want to go visit my dad's grave. I want to go swimming. So it's small stuff. It's not like you want to jump out of a plane 15,000 feet in the air. No, no. I want to. Um, I want to. I want to pet an alligator. So it's a sentimental stuff. Yeah, yeah, I love alligators. Shit. And um, I don't know. Just. I want to be left alone. If I want to be left alone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want nobody chasing after me and asking me how I feel. Right. You were so low dog, you know? No, not really. It's just you know, you know. It's one thing I learned about Massachusetts, about being in Boston, is that that people, man, they they know how to use the shit out of you. Yeah. They really do, man. They don't manipulate you. They don't, they don't use you. And, Next thing you know, man, you know, you got nothing. So it's really about survival. It's about street smarts. Yeah, man, listen, I've been, uh, I've been everywhere. I've been homeless. I've had it all. I've lost it all. Most of it was my fault, though. Most of it was my fault. A lot of it's my fault. If you give anybody advice or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It depends who that person is. You can't just generalize and, you know, advice to people. Just live their life, be happy, do good, get yeah. good. You know what? I love that um, movie, uh, Pay It Forward. Uh -huh. I wish, I wish that's something that's very important. I wish everybody would do that. So put it in the school system and stuff like that. Yeah, put it in church, put it in put mom, it in church, put it in, in you know Jewish temples, whatever. Let everybody experience what it's like to really, you know, feel good about helping somebody. You know. Nice. It's the most awesome feeling in the world. But I'm gonna tell you something though. 
doesn't just because you do help somebody doesn't mean you're simply not supposed to expect anything, you know? Well, exactly. And you don't. You don't expect anything and just do it because, you know, you can smile. It feels good. It feels real good. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, sometimes it doesn't work out. People will tell you, go school yourself type of thing, you know? Oh, well. You know, and yeah, it does maybe, maybe it'll hurt you or you hurt your feelings, but get over it. Don't give up, you know? It's that simple, you know? Cool. Well, thank you very much for the scenery, bro. All right. See you later. Sorry, you too. Bye. Bye.